So this video is going to be about recommending a pistol for the person who may be familiar with guns, but this is their first new pistol. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, so which one would you recommend? I'm going to cover what I would recommend, why I would recommend them, and kind of, you know, give you a, uh, a conclusion at the end. So what you have before you, three different offerings from Smith & Wesson. Uh, I like Smith & Wesson. They're an American company. They make good quality firearms at a financially responsible price. And so you can get a lot of gun and not have to pay a lot of money for it. So with that said, I'm going to quickly cover what I have here. I'm going to go through the pros and cons of each when recommending them to a new shooter and then tell you which one I, I, uh, I would recommend. So here's the Smith & Wesson Shield. Uh, this is the 1.0. This is the 2.0, the MMP 2.0 in 5 inch. And this is the MMP 2.0 Compact uh, in 4 inch. So I have videos on each one of these guns. If you want to learn more about them, you can follow the cards. You can go check out my videos. Uh, I also have another gun here that I'm not going to really spend a lot of time on, but I just wanted to point out real quick, you've got the 380, the Ruger LCP. Uh, Smith & Wesson also offers the Bodyguard in 380. I'm not going to recommend the 380. I'm going to focus mainly on the 9mm just because of cartridge availability and the, the various uh, types of loads you can get in the 9mm round. Um, so with that, I'm going to dive right in. In the Shield, the Smith & Wesson Shield. Now, great little gun. Uh, it's an easy shooter, has enough capacity for a new shooter. It's easily concealable in, it, in being that it's a single stack pistol. Uh, it's easy enough. You can carry it in your pocket, slips right into a pocket holster like this DeSantis. No problem whatsoever, slips right into your pocket. Uh, this one's a little worn in. I've, I've carried it for a while. Great little gun. You can also carry it in something like this. This is a, a sticky type holster. This one's made by Klinger good veteran owned company. If you want to go check them out, I would recommend them. They did give me this holster. Not that I, not that they're paying me for this video, but they did offer that one to me and I, uh, I appreciate it. It is a, it is a quality holster. So if you're carrying a single stack pistol, you know, there's a lot more versatility. There's outside the waistband, there's ankle carry, there's, um, you know, inside the waistband, there's just a whole bunch of different ways you can carry you are limited in capacity. Now, they ship with two magazines. You get the eight round and the seven round. Um, that's not a complete limitation. They do make you know round extensions. This one's a 10 round. This is by a company called Mag Guts. Also did a video on that if you wanna check that out. So you do have uh, some versatility with this, but you have a shorter barrel. You have no Picatinny rail. Um, you have a single stack magazine, so you do have a round limitation in that. Uh, and the more rounds you put into it, the harder it is to conceal. And then you start moving into the category of different, different guns. The next gun up here we have, this is the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 in 5 inch. Now this is a very large gun. This is going to be a great gun for home defense. If you want to keep a gun on your nightstand, great gun for that. You've got 17 plus one rounds. You've got a full Picatinny rail. You've got a five inch barrel. That means recoil manageability is going to be a lot easier on this gun. Uh, they come with or without safeties. Your, you know, your choice in that in that aspect. Um, good trigger, good, well-rounded gun. This is a gun I could recommend for home defense, but it's going to be very difficult to conceal carry. Uh, you've got a very long barrel. You've also got a very long grip. You've also got the double stack magazine. It's going to be very wide, so it's going to print. You're going to have to, you know, dress appropriately. You're going to have, probably going to have to buy different clothing in order to accommodate a, a pistol like this. If you are trying to carry it, uh, goes in the, you know, can go into your car can go into your glove box. If you're carrying a bag or something, this is, makes it a lot easier to conceal this, but this being a large gun, it's going to be very difficult to conceal, but it does give you some positives with it as well. So this is a gun, if you're not gonna carry, this would be a great gun you know, to have, maybe in a rural area, a uh, lot of capacity, long barrel, you're gonna be able to get a little bit more distance on a shot if you need, need be. Any one of these can do that. This is gonna be an easier gun to manage. Also, if you're interested in competition, uh, you know, 
getting into the various shooting sports, this is also going to be an easier platform to start from. But if you're just looking for a home defense gun, so moving along, the next gun, this is the MMP 2.0. This is the compact four inch. They make a compact 3.6 inch. Uh, this one is a 15 rounds. Uh, they also, I think, well, the 17s definitely work, but I think they ship with uh, two magazine sleeves because they do stick out just slightly at the bottom of the grip. Um, it does have a Picatinny rail. This one's got the four inch barrel safety, uh, you know, decent Novak sights. So this is an easier gun to conceal. This is kind of a mixture between these two here. It's going to be easier to conceal because it has a shorter grip and a shorter barrel. It's going to be a little bit longer barrel than this and a little bit shorter grip than this. And so it's kind of a mixture between both. You're going to hear a lot of people, if you look into this gun, this is, these are going to say this one's more equivalent to like a Glock 19. Um, I don't own any Glocks, so I don't have one to show you, um, but I can see why people would say that. I have held many a Glock 19 and they are a good sized gun. This one is no different, very good sized gun. Now the versatility of this gun, because it has the pick rail, you can add a light to it. So if you want to throw it on the nightstand, you know, take it out of the holster, throw it on the nightstand, put a light on it. Um, you know, you can slide a light on and off the pick rail, no problem at all. Also, if you're concealed carrying it and you get home and you want to throw a couple extra rounds into it, you can take an extended 17 round mag to pop into it and you can just get yourself two more extra rounds. Also, if you decide, you know, I want to conceal carry this or I want to, you know, I want to open carry this, having a four inch barrel, that's a good size standard length barrel and a pistol. Uh, most rounds are going to have good velocity coming out of a four inch barrel. I think most law enforcement now are in the four inch to uh, four and a quarter inch, I think on the new modern guns. So a four inch barrel, you're not going to lose a lot of velocity uh, off of your nine millimeter rounds. So just about any defensive round will work great in this. Um, it also comes in a 3.6, which you're going to cut off, you know, a good amount of, uh, you know, half inch or so of barrel off of this. So if you're trying to stick it down into your, you know, inside the waistband, it's not going to dig into your, into your hip or into your leg or anything. Um, you can pocket carry this. It's going to be a little bit more uh, bulky, uh, but it does fit into a holster such as this one here. Like I said, a little bit bulkier. So all of that said, which gun would I recommend for the first time shooter uh, or first time handgun owner? Uh, a gun that's going to provide the versatility that a person would want. It's going to grow with the shooter. It's going to provide the home defense. It's going to give them the ability to have a adequate capacity without a lot of modifications, I'm going to recommend this one right here. The, the 2.0 Compact is just a great all-around pistol for the first-time pistol owner. Uh, if you're looking for a handgun recommendation, if somebody's asking you, hey, you know, what gun would, would you recommend? I would de definitely steer them towards that size. Uh, also, if you're a Glock fan, you know, go check out the Glocks. If you want to recommend somebody, go look at the Glock. Glock 19 is a great size as well. It's going to be around that size. Um, I would just emphasize in all of this that whatever gun you're recommending to people that you preface all of these comments with, everybody's hands are different and uh, encourage them to go to a gun store and put their hands on different guns so they can feel what it is they're looking for. This is just more focused on the size and, and style of, of pistols that you're going to come across out there. And I just happen to have all three of these because I'm a, I've become a, a Smith & Wesson uh, fan. So anyway, that's really all I got, guys. Uh, I think that kind of covers pretty much what I was looking to get across. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways to carry guns. Uh, the sky is the limit. There's all different kinds of, of holsters. I've done videos on those as well. If you're interested, you can check them out. You can check out the videos on all of these guns. I've done videos on all of them. Uh, I did a video on the Mag Guts. Go check that one out. That one's kind of fun. Um, different holsters, you know, just different offerings out there on my channel. You can check it all out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's what uh, keeps me motivated in making these videos for you guys. Uh, throw comments in the comments section. I always, you know, enjoy uh, reading your comments and, and uh, interacting with you guys. And then if you want to follow me on any of my other social media, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Gunstreamer, and BitShoot.com, you can find those links in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.